Rest Development Season 3, Two Cents Review. So 2005, uh, it's kind of a different kind of uh, world that we live in uh, as I'm doing this review in nine, in nine years from now. I talked about in season the Season 2 review. The fan influence, the fan internet, social media influence wasn't it was, it was, it was like it is today. So they get 13, season, 13 episodes out of Season 3, and then they get canceled. So... All we've gotten was 43 episodes until the Netflix revival of Arrest Development, and some consider the greatest uh, comedy series of all time. And it doesn't get its justice because, well, Fox wasn't getting the ratings, so they had to cancel the show. So they gave it last 13 episodes. The ratings were not high. And the problem was with this season was that season two was so brilliant. Season three was like... It was it was there's some we really weak episodes in the season, mainly the Michael um, Charlie Theron kind of like storyline where it was very I don't know where they were kind of taking this to place. It was like the the creator Michael Herberts who takes a lot of chances and you got to give the guys a lot of accolades. He, he takes a lot of chances and sometimes his chances were. Um, we're a little on the sadness than not laughter side. But what we're learning in season three is that Michael. You know, in season one and two, he's kind of playing the straight man to the, the zany uh, characters in his family. But we're realizing episode by episode that Michael perhaps isn't the most greatest father in the world. And perhaps Michael isn't the greatest guy in the world either. Perhaps he's just as selfish as the rest of his family. So that them taking that kind of churn at the end of, at the end of season three of Rest of Development, you really don't have anybody to root for, really. Who are you going to root for? Job? Tobias? Like, you don't really have anybody that you kind of, like, look up to in any sort of way. Because Michael is kind of sinking as a character. And that's what, in my opinion, well, get, well the, 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 the Netflix version wasn't didn't really take too, uh, take too kindly to everybody because he's a bad guy. And so that's his arc in season three that we're learning slowly but surely. But if you rewatch the first two seasons, you kind of see it. But then in season three, they really kind of tell its true story. So that kind of chance he took is interesting. But at the same time, you know, a bad ep- uh, rest development episode is better than than 99% of all the other comedy shows that are on there. So uh, this is a this is a landmark show. It will be in most people's top 10 lists of greatest shows of all time. And usually it's kind of better in hindsight if you kind of go out on top. It's like, you know, like this is we're playing in Vegas here. You know, the movie industry, TV industry is Vegas. Like you you may have a good pot. You may have a good hand. But you never know what hand you're going to be dealt, and you never know what the other person's hand is. You never know how the f- people are going to react to certain movies. So it's Vegas, and you know the more you stay in the game, the more chances you are you're going to lose money, and the more chances that TV shows are going to lose its luster in so many different ways. Like some shows, like some can argue that Seinfeld lasted as soon as Larry David quit. They should have they should have quit the show itself because Larry David was the heart and soul of the show. So maybe in a lot of ways it's good. For uh, TV shows to pick like like rest of development to have kind of like get canceled early on because it did so well for all those actors like all those actors have done very well for themselves so everybody kind of benefited from the show and they didn't they don't have any weak links the show was kind of like on its decline in season three and who knows maybe season four would have ruined the legacy of the show you can argue that the honeymooner is one of the classic comedies of all time they only did like 35 episodes and that's probably for the best if you look at like english tv like the original office show they did they did like 20 episodes and it's a classic and the other office the the american version they did like 200 episodes what what people what arguably people are going to say the uk office is 10 times better than the than the than the american office because they did 10 times more shows 10 times more points of view to uh to make bad episodes so the chips were in and rest of the development got canceled and probably in hindsight was for the best for the legacy of the show and for the actors itself. That is my review over and out.